subscribe to James and Sheriff Dixon, you motherfucker. And show them they're showing powers at all. Do you really want them to go through life doing things the hard way? I mean, I mean, look at you, look at you with your plastic bowls. When you know leftover chicken keeps better when it's back on the bone. <laughs> Mother, get that thing out of here. This Friday, I will be talking to you called Halloween Town 1. So let's jump on IMDb. I'll talk about the story and all that jazz. So IMDb here, it has a boo -boo 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 six out of 10 stars. I'm just a four out of five. This is a classic for me. I grew up watching this as, as a kid. I don't know if you grew up with cable, but if you did, this was on every single Halloween for Disney. Um, really, this sounds for a bad movie, but like, if we watch it now, the only actor that has good acting in this is the mom and the grandma, and I, Marnie's somewhere in there, but uh, she's not there until she's like an older kid. <laughs> so let's jump down the budget. I'll talk the story and all that jazz. I don't know if there's a budget for the first one. Because, uh, it's a TV movie, as it says here on the IMDb. The budget, as I was just saying. So, boo -boo -boo. so the story goes, um, this grandma comes to town for Halloween... And she turned out to be an actual witch, and she there there is the whole family is witches, and um, the children follow her to her hometown. And turned out to be a town full of monsters, and uh, they're being run by this guy that's an evil mayor, and um, he puts a spell on this town to try to take them over, and uh, the children stop them. That's pretty much the gist of the story. Um, much of it because um, it's like ten years old. Ten nights. Let people when to come out. At this point, at like twenty years old, <laughs> or twenty years old. Yeah, it's about this evil mayor that's trying to take over this town, and the the uh, main family. Um, else I have trouble pronouncing names. If you know me by now. Um, that's very much the story. These, uh, um, children find out they're witches. They follow their grandma to her hometown, which actually has real monsters and demons and shit. And, um, yeah. So, um, that, without further repeating myself and rambling, I wish you guys represented the uh, movie, and I'll be back again. And after I specifically told you not to tell them anything about it, I was only trying to do what you should have done long ago. Are you on the verge of breaking a tradition that goes back more than a thousand years? Of Your tradition, Mother, not mine. Marnie is my daughter, and if I decide not to train her like a witch, then it's none of your business. A witch's 13th Halloween is supposed to mark the completion of her training. If Marnie's training doesn't at least begin tonight, her powers will be lost forever. Yes! And she'll finally be human. She'll finally be normal, like her brother, like her father, and like Sophie will be after her. Mm. We're in a human father. Why, you're only lucky that you have two children that are showing powers at all. Do you really want them to go through life doing things the hard way? I mean, I mean, look at you, look at you with your plastic bowls. When you know leftover chicken keeps better when it's back on the bone. <laughs> Mother, get that thing out of here right now. For years, you have been coming here. You've been dropping hints to Marnie, and you've been badgering me to start her training. I know that that's why you came here tonight, Mother, but the fight is over. You know that? The clock has finally run out, and you can just go home. Quinn, as much as I think you're making a terrible mistake with Marnie, you're wrong about why I came here tonight. The fact is, I came to ask for your help. My help. With what? Well, something is wrong at home. Something is happening. Every day, I find another neighbor has changed, turned hateful, it's frightening. And soon after that, they disappear altogether. Oh, please, Mother, my neighbors disappear sometimes, too. It's called moving. Oh, Quinton, I'm quite serious about this. It's as though something or someone is trying to return us to the dark times. And I fear my powers alone may not be enough to stop it. I need another Cromwell, which I need you. Mother, 
There are plenty of other witches and warlocks in Halloween Town. Why don't you recruit one of them? Oh, I've tried. You know how it is today. No one wants to get involved. Mother, I'm sure that you believe that there's some kind of problem. But I can't just leave my kids to go fight some nameless force in another world that I have nothing to do with. Nothing to do with? <laughs> well, fine. Bury your head in the sand of that precious mortal world of yours. Perhaps the Cromwell line will end with you. But let's just hope that Halloween Town doesn't come to an end along with it. Enjoy your leftovers, dear. <laughs> Come on. Suit yourself. <laughs> Those were the scenes that I best represent this movie. So I will now show you guys what I have in store for next week's Bad Movie Friday. Contest. It's time for the great unmasking. Change them people. into the creature whose disguise they have taken. Next week's Bad Movie Friday. We will be doing Halloween Town 2 to continue the uh, Halloween movies for this one. So I guess with that, I'll be bringing this video to a close. This is James saying, if you like what I'm saying, please like, serve more. So saying, peace. I'll have Brandon Rogers say from here. See y'all next time. I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy, and he is super cool for coming to the show. I'm glad I got to meet him in person, and you should subscribe.